Hey everybody, it's Shankblocks, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a cartoony, um, a cartoony head for Roblox in Blender. So, this is actually a very easy process. Um, so without further ado, let's start off in Blender. So, the version I'm using is 2.0. 91.0. If you want to download the latest version of Blender, then I'll leave the link to it down in, in the description below. So let's just start off with a clear scene. And what I'm going to do is import the head that I have right here. Actually, going to delete the texture. And we have the default Roblox head. So the first step to this is to duplicate the head. So Shift D, duplicate it, and scale it, scale it up to how big you want it. I'm going to say about right there for me. And now you're going to select the head that you duplicated and press control in in edit mode make sure everything's selected press control in then flip now if we go back into object mode it, this one has been flipped the normals have been flipped so now let's give it a texture but before we do that let's join these together so select your duplicated head and the one that you imported if you're using the head and then just press Control J and join those together now they're joined so let's give these a texture so over in the materials tab add new material you can name this to anything you want I'm just going to leave it to my material 1 and where it says base color on this yellow circle, change that to a image texture. Open up your texture that you want. I'm just going to go with the original rainbow. And I'm just going to drag out a new window here. And in this tab, go over to the UV editor. Now, what you can do is you can bring in your texture in here and go into edit mode on this side and then make sure everything is selected even the yeah make sure everything is selected and hit U uh, yeah and make sure that you're in the right view so just hit 3 on your num number pad and hit U project from view and then it'll change over here so I'm, I'm just going to select everything G to move it down and I want to select the outer head and not the inner head because the outer head is going to be in the rainbow color for the outline so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, click this selection up here so I can select stuff I'm going to select that very top one, shift select, yeah, I'm just going to do that, that, and do that. Okay, now I'm going to select the rest of these by holding down shift and selecting them. So now if I move this around, then only the the outer head is being moved. And to see what you're doing on the side over here, just go into the material view by clicking the material viewport up here. Now we're going to move the outer head into the rainbow color and I'm now going to 
hit R90 and then hit SX and then scale it all the way up SX all right there should be good and now we can just move that over here go into back to object mode and we have our rainbow texture so that's all we have to do in Blender so let's now just export this I'm just gonna be I'm gonna rename mine to rainbow rainbow head export now you want to go into Roblox Studio so well, right click on the base plate, insert object, mesh part, and then in the properties of the mesh part, just click click the tiny folder and select your accessory or hat that you exported and hit open, no, and Boom, there we go, we have our cartoony rainbow head. So that's how you make a a rainbow outline. If you if you wanna if you would like to turn this into a hat to actually put on like a model or the dummy or something, then I have a I have previous videos on how, how, how to do that. If you guys can't find the videos, then up on the right corner, there will be a tab where to find the right video where I show you. Um, in that video, I show you how to turn it, to turn a hat into a hat. So that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, watching as much as I did teaching or showing you guys so don't forget to like and subscribe and join my discord link will be in, in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next one